in the Mayan Popol Vuh, they state very clearly that the new sun certainly does not look like the one we used to look upon. And so it is key to understand all this global ancient iconography and symbology. Understanding the evolution of the polar configuration and also the torus field that was created in space. And these here sure do look like winged discs to me. It's the evolution of that Taurus field. The Taurus field underneath the Saturnian polar configuration. And they'll call it Nibiru, Planet X, Anunnaki, whatever they want to say it is. This is most certainly the evolution of the ancient polar configuration. I don't think we've discovered any information concerning timelines of this evolution. The torus filled underneath the winged disk of the polar configuration. This is the ultimate truth of our ancient past. And that is why I'm stuck on this subject. The torus filled under the configuration, evolving, changing, morphing. Plasmas, the electricity, and those two dots. Evolving. When they talk about the mountain of God, this is what they're talking about. The evolution and destabilization of this configuration and its capture by a main sequence star, the new sun, Saturn was cast out. More to come later, guys.